us move. Hmm. Leaves no excuse. Hallelujah. 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 We have never been this way before. And, and, and we have got to adjust ourselves. We can't afford to be critical. The Lord is even revealing a Jezebel stronghold that is, is brewing and working on its craft against the move. And this Jezebel stronghold have identified Elijah. When I say Elijah, I just don't mean the leader. I mean the prophets of God. Hallelujah. And they have seen the prophets of Baal being ashamed, being, being, being destroyed. And they have seen the prophets of God speaking because in this day and hour, even if God did not give you a specific word, if you prophesy the word of God, and it's being fulfilled before the world. Amen. Even the very riots, you, you, you see, go on right now, the riots, you see, hold on. Even though we, 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 we publish a prophecy, you see there, God had even more specific prophecy. And I take the blame because we didn't announce him last week Sunday. Are you there? Glory to God. And even today as we announce him when I'm through, you will hear them. So specific. Because it's the last move. The Lord even gave a revelation of a low ringing bell. I've never experienced that before. Except through this revelation. A low ringing bell. Why do you want to ring a bell low? Is there a hard to ring a bell low anyway? If it's a regular bell. But the Lord revealed a low ringing bell. When the bell begins to get low. It means that God is saying enough is enough. I've said a lot. I've, I've caused the bell to be rung loud for a long time. The bell rung loud for China. And that's why half a million buildings were destroyed. And less than a hundred died. God said, I was not killing people. I was ringing the bell. That's over this weekend. <laughs> the worst typhoon in the east for a long time 250 kilometers per hour struck Okinawa struck Japan so far no death that's a loud ringing bell God is saying that train is coming. Trouble is coming. Calamity is coming. Death is coming. And I've rung hard enough. Loud enough. And now it will not be as loud. A lowering bell mainly comes for the believer. That's why God said he speaks to us in his still small voice. That's why the Bible says in Matthew 13, 11 to 13, he said, dear by speak I in parables. That's a low ringing bell. That they whose heart are what's close, they see not, nor hear. But those who know him hear and see. Because it's the last move. Someone say the last move. Get ready for the last move, church. Get ready for the last move, brothers and sisters. Get ready for this last move. Get into it. Let's come out of our norms, out of our traditions. Someone said the last move. Leaves no excuse. Say it with me. Say it with me. The last move leaves no excuse. In a vision, the Lord revealed several colors of Christ. Mom, someone say amen. Someone say the last move. Somebody say the last move. I need the Holy Ghost 
the Lord saw Jesus in different colors, different skin, different. God went from the, the, the most colorful to the hardcore black and white. God is saying there's no excuse. Come on, I'm not a white God, nor a black God, nor a Come on, or a middle of the ground God, or an African God, or a, come on, somebody working with a Jewish God. Talk to me. I can't believe you. You're, you're, I thought you would be rolling on the floor. Come on, somebody here. Our Asian God, our Chinese God, our Indonesian God. Amen. God said, I'm going to show myself in this last hour in a way that no man will have any excuse. Most folks hate the Jews now. So if God show himself as a Jewish God, come on somebody, glory to God, it would not be the last move. Not only did, 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 did this image of, of Christ come in different colors, but in different angles, different angles, you know, those are the geometry, different, uh, 60 degrees, 30 degrees, you know, 90, 130, come on, somebody in the opposite direction, come on, etc., etc. So, what is this? It's the last move. Anywhere you turn, it's got to be Christ. Anything you do, it's got to be for Christ. Everywhere you go, it's got to be for Christ. Every decision you make, got to have Christ. If it is courage, feed Christ. You encourage, feed Christ. You receive money, feed Christ. You lose money, feed Christ. You almost lose a job, feed Christ. Come on, come on, come on. God to any hand. God to in this last move. Anything in your life. Glory to God. He said in Philippians 1 12, the thing that happened unto me, happened unto me for the furtherance of the gospel of Christ. Someone said the last move. God said, preach me in the morning. Preach me through sickness. Preach me through weakness. Preach me when you're up. Preach me when you're down. Just call my name. Many times you don't need to explain, but just call my name. Come on, somebody. Something happened to you. Just say Jesus. I've been to places and I, and I, and I thought nobody knew I went there. Later on, somebody said, Bishop, you were here or you were there. I said, Oh, you know. So I heard somebody say, Jesus. Because you can't help yourself, you always say Jesus. You have to have always say Jesus. Listen to him, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Wake up in the morning, Jesus. Bring the bed, G. The news, G. Come on, somebody. Somebody saw Jesus. Somebody saw Jesus. Jesus is the last move. Jesus in the morning. Jesus at noonday. Jesus at the evening. Come on, somebody. Because it's the last move of Jesus. We can't miss it right now. So every turn you turn is Jesus. You don't know how to preach. Just say Jesus. You don't know how to teach. Just say Jesus. Come on, somebody. This is the last move. In this last move, there will be without They tell you you have only one word you can say. Come on, somebody. Before you die. Mm. Shout Jesus. Somebody said the last move. Get ready. Can I sit down for a moment. Let me tell you something. If you find yourself in a spot, just do the best thing and done. They're about to kill you. They do the best thing and Don't bow. The last move. Just do it. There's a hold of peace. You're going to hold it after Jesus. Jesus! Correct the name. I'm going to lose somebody. 
I'm gonna lose somebody. I'm gonna lose somebody right and mean. I'm gonna lose somebody. I can't get nobody with me for right the name. Sababa of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Stand up, everybody. Somebody shout the last move. Don't let nobody start you over. Don't let nobody put you in the middle. Tell them this is my last opportunity. I'm going all for it. It's my last day at school. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I'm going to hit and run. I'm going to hit the bully that hit me all year. The last day of school. I'm going to get a stick. I'm going to hit him and I'm going to run home because it's the last day of school. I can't get nobody with me here, somebody. But nobody never did with bully before. But that bully Satan, my God of mercy, tell him it's my last move. Amen. For when I'm weak, then I'm strong. It's my last day. You should have killed me before. You should have killed me before, but no, it's the last day. I'm coming to you. You come to me with your sword, my God. But I come to you in the name. I see that boy tempting you. I see that boy tempting you. And it's very hard. Tell him it's the last move. Tell him it's the last move. This is my last chance. I can't go that way. Jesus. Jesus. He's my satisfaction. Now, you feel weak, you feel down. But the last move, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And God have a way in the last move to anoint you more than before. Come on, somebody. Shababa. God have a way in the last move. Everybody passed the exam. I lost her right there. I lost her right there. In the past, only Bishop passed exam. And pass the pass exam and evangelist pass Holy Ghost exam. But God says in the last days, come on, somebody. I'm losing a somebody. I'll pour out. Come on, somebody. Off my spirit up, up on our flesh. For it's the last move. Somebody say the last move. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. I receive the last move. One more thing I'm going to tell you, then we're going to close. One more thing, time is gone already. They went out into the street to get some folks to work, to do a day's job. Some folks went on the job. Later on, when it was half day, more folks went on the job. Down in the evening, there was only like a hour left of work for the day. But they found some folks who were hanging out. Come on at the deli. Come on. Just finished shoot gun. Come on, somebody. Just finished do wrong. And the employer said, I have a job for you. Only a hour left, but the job is available. And they left the gun, left the crime, and went and worked for an hour. When it was paid time, he the one who work all day. I must get the most, and they get for one hour. It don't work that way. In the last move, they get the same pay. I'm losing shit. Interpretation. Someone will come and do better than you.
Let's not get full of ourselves. They're going to come on greater than us. It's not bad we're doing, it's good we're doing. But that's how God do it. God, God is God. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. God going to bring back, amen, those things that we missed out. Come on, somebody. And Peter and James and John were mighty for God. Say amen. But they were competing against each other. So I should be assistant pastor and second assistant and third and fourth and a hundred assistant. Come on, somebody. When God looked out and he saw a murderer, he saw a persecutor, some of the last move. Come on, you're not reckoning me. His name was Saul, a wicked man. But God said, This is the last move. And when Paul was on his way to kill Christians, in the last move, God struck him off his ass and said, Listen to me, I'm ready to use you. Why persecute? Paul came. I didn't do the greater than all the apostles. Wow! Some of the last move. So the last move. Every new believer, you got to be there for them. Work on them. Encourage them. Build them. For it's the last move. Hallelujah. If there's anybody here today not saved, the bell is ringing but it's low it's low it means God is saying enough is enough he said a lot of people are about to die the calamities that have happened and only a few people have died that's the ringing of the bell that's the blowing of the trumpet that's the warning from God but now it's about to ring low Many of you are not going to hear it. The ringing of the low bell also means that there's going to be a famine for the word of God. You're not going to hear much word to draw you to Christ. So if you're hearing, you're not safe. If you're watching and you're not safe, by television or the internet, the bell is gone down low. Come before it goes stupid. Come. I'm going to invite every man, every woman, every girl, every boy here today who are not yet saved. I'm going to invite you to come. If you're saved but you're not yet baptized, I want you to come. If you believe you're saved but you go to a strange church like those churches that burn candles or incense and so on, I want to pray with you as, as well. Jesus. But mainly right now, for those who are not saved, you've never been baptized or you're backslidden and you want to come to Christ, come. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus right now. He will. He will. He will save you. He will. He will save you just now. If you're not saved, will you come? If you're not saved, will you come? If you're not saved, will you come? Every day, God speaks to us around the world to prophesy the truth of God. But many times, those vessels are not the popular names of Christian ministry. For this reason, it becomes difficult to warn people of God's word without worldwide access. God said in his word that he would prove himself through prophecies and revelations, not only from the Bible, but also speaking through his servants. On harvestarmy.org, Prophecies and revelations are posted almost every day and are fulfilled in due time. It is our responsibility as Christians to listen for the voice of God. The Bible says not to be ignorant of the devil's devices and plans. We encourage you to check the updates on our revelations page every day. The website is www.harvestarmy.org. That's www.harvestarmy.org. Don't make fulfillment of prophecy be a surprise to you.